Picture this. You grab your iPhone, swipe up to unlock and suddenly realise you can't remember your passcode. You try a few combinations but nothing works. Maybe you've been away from the device for a while or you've recently bought a second hand iPhone that still has a lock screen in place. And to make matters worse, after too many wrong attempts, the iPhone disables itself entirely. Being locked out of your own phone is stressful, but it doesn't have to stay that way. Today, I'll show you how Wondershare Doctor Phone Screen Unlock can give you back full access quickly and safely with two powerful solutions. Way one, unlock your iPhone or iPad without a passcode. This first method is ideal if you've forgotten your passcode or if your device is disabled after multiple failed attempts. Here's how it works. This is the Wondershare Doctor Phone home screen. Firstly, you need to connect your phone through a USB cable as this would be the fastest way. Then navigate to the screen unlock button. Then click unlock iOS screen. Once you click that, it will then open a window to show what you need to do to activate your recovery mode on your device. Now these steps will be different on the iPhone 8 and above, iPhone 7 and 7 Plus and iPhone 6 and earlier. So make sure you click the right tab for your device. Because my phone is an iPhone 13, I can choose the iPhone 8 and above tab. If you haven't already, connect your device to the computer via USB cable. Then press the volume up button and then quickly press the volume down button. Next, you need to press the hold and power button even when you see the Apple logo when it appears on screen. Then when you see the recovery mode pop up, you can release the power button. But if recovery mode doesn't work, it does prompt that you can also enter DFU mode at the bottom of this window. So once you've entered recovery mode on your device, the window will automatically load your device model, system version, and then also a start button. This start button will essentially take your phone to factory settings and reset the whole system. So make sure you've got everything backed up just in case you don't lose any valuable and sensitive data. Now once you click start, this will take around 10 minutes to fully clear your phone. Once the progress has finished, it will say that the firmware is ready to complete and will show a button to unlock your phone. Once you press that, there will be another progress bar which you'll need to wait around 10 minutes for. Once this is done, your lock screen would have been removed completely and your device will be fully restored. As you can see on the device, it is now clear and fresh. So you can set up as normal and if you backed up your data through iCloud, you can download that data straight back to your iPhone. Dr. Phone makes a complicated situation so much easier. But if Way One doesn't work for you or your use case, you can use the Erase iPhone option on the lock screen. This third method is all about using the built-in Erase iPhone features. So this method is when you enter the password wrong too many times and you end up locking your phone. You then press forgot passcode and then you can follow steps to fully erase your iPhone and this is very simple as long as you've got the password for your iCloud. So here is why these two methods work best. Together these two approaches cover the most common lockout scenarios. If you've simply forgotten your passcode, Dr. Phone wipes it away and gives you back control. If you've purchased a locked or disabled iPhone, the erase iPhone method clears everything so you can start new. No technical skills are required, just plug in your phone, follow the instructions and you're back in business. If you're dealing with a locked iPhone, don't waste hours trying to guess your passcode or stressing over disabled screens. Wondershare Dr. Phone Screen Unlock has everything you need to unlock your device safely and quickly. So click the link in the description or search Wondershare Dr. Phone on Google to get started today. This has been Adam from Tech Utopia. I hope you liked this video. If you did, leave a like, comment and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next video.